All right, what's up, guys? Pet Man Matt Moore, Kellen Varsity, with our last top five player rankings. Um, these are going to be the top five defensive backs in the Charlotte Conference's best to last. And, you know, like I've been saying, this, this one was almost impossible to do. Uh, I think this area uh, has some of the best defensive backs in the state. Um, you start looking at uh, the rankings. Uh, we've got several DBs in the uh, top 100 um, class of 2018 and 2019 uh, defensive backs. So, you know, you, you have to kind of just, you took a look at, I took a look at some film. Um, you know, I went back and thought about, you know, when we visited some of these schools in the preseason, what the coaches said about them. And, um, you know, you just kind of go with your gut. So these are the top five um, based off of that criteria uh, that I've got. Uh, number five is Shamari Wingard at Archie Kell. Um, met with this kid in the preseason. Um, he's got great size. Um, about a 6'1", 6'2", uh, corner, very athletic, um, great agility. Uh, he can run a lot of man. Um, that's his preference. I remember him in the interview saying that. And um, he likes to get physical into a receiver. Um, he's got some uh, D1 schools looking at him. Um, he, very uh, intelligent and uh, well-spoken. And, um, you know, I think he'd be a great asset in any school. But um, for RJ Kell this year, he's going to shut down one side of the field. And um, whoever the opposite corner is will get a lot of um, – attention because <laughs> they're not going to want to throw at uh shamari for sure um a very very good young man uh number four is demille hickman at butler uh saw him friday night in the carolina varsity.com jamboree um you know he's committed to east carolina i remember seeing that and um you know just looking at you know him in person um very quick is, is the thing that stands out about him. Um, I don't think he, uh, the uh, receiver is going to get behind him all year long and playing in man coverage. Um, you know, he reads well, comes up. He's not afraid to hit. Um, and, and he does a good job overall uh, within the defensive scheme. And um, he's a, a great asset for Butler at our number four in the list here. Uh, number three is uh, Matthew Martinez, uh, more of a safety up at uh, Mooresville, uh, he's committed to UNC Charlotte. And, um, you know, Dale Ross went up there and spoke with him, his interviews on our channel. Um, I, I thought he was a well-spoken young man as well. And um, I think Charlotte got a steal. I think this kid is a um, one that's on the rise. It's going to continue to get better as he gets into a college program. And um, they can work on, you know, more things with him. But, you know, just taking a look at him on film a little bit, um, you know, I think he's got really good ball skills from the, the safety position, and he can go up and um, make plays at a high point in the football uh, with the best receivers out there. Um, another one that's not afraid to tackle, moves well in space. Uh, I think overall he's a very good player, and probably one of the best players on the Morrisville team uh, this year. Uh, number two is Malik Dunlap of Harding, and, you know, I've said before about how much I like this kid. Um you know, of course, back in the old, old days, a few years ago when I was still coaching, uh, he was a freshman, and, you know, he, I, he was hungry back then uh, to play varsity. And, um, you know, he's put in the work, and he's grown so much in the weight room and the, the great job that Coach Griner has done with uh, getting him developed and everything. Uh, he's committed to NC State, a three-star corner, uh, very physical. He's 6'3", um, loves to be physical and press. Um, there's going to be some receivers that won't be able to get off the line um, very well against him just based on the matchup. Um, he's not um, and, and a, a, what I would say a boisterous player, but, you know, he plays within himself. He leads by example. And, um, you know, he definitely does a good job for Harding over on the west side. And, um, you know, that I can't express how much um, I enjoy talking to Malik. And um, I love to see, you know, how much he's grown over the years. A very, very good young man. Uh, number one on this list is a four-star corner up at Huff. That's Tyus Fields. And, you know, the times that I've seen uh, Mr. Fields in action, uh, electric would be the, the best way I can describe him. Um, 
a defense corner up there, Chachi Sullivan, um, is known as a, a defensive back guru. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's no surprise that, that this kid is doing so well under his tutelage. Um, you know, they put him on offense sometimes, and he can make plays um, with the football in his hands. But as a DB, um, technique, technique, technique is all you, all I can really say about, you know, what I've seen with this kid. Um, you know, very quick, um, can read combination routes and zone, man coverage, he's always there. Um, the receivers aren't going to be able to run away from him. Um, just the, if you wanted to make a uh, prototypical corner, um, this this would be it in terms of his footwork and technique and and everything along those lines. He's a little smaller, about 5'10", 5'11", but, you know, he makes up for it with, you know, the technique like I've been saying throughout the whole video. <laughs> so, like I said, it, it was very hard to, you know, separate it down to just five defensive backs, but um, that was the shot we took on this one. And uh, once again, I, we'll do it in the um, middle of the season right before conference play. And then we'll do it again at the end of the season. But great job. There's a lot of great DBs out there. Um, some of you will be on the underrated player split video uh, coming up real soon. Um, like I said, if you think you should be included, hit me up with a message on Twitter at PetmanCV, P-E-P-M-A-N-C-V, and um, we'll get your name out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck this year. Definitely appreciate your support at Carolina Varsity. Thanks.